Today I am going to try out my idea for making custom washi tape um, using masking tape that I got at the Dollar Tree for just one dollar. It brings a lot of tape so really would save money if you could use this instead of buying whole rolls sometimes. And then I am going to use this, um, what's it called, wax paper. Don't pay attention to the spider web, that's from my Pinterest Halloween video, but I'm just reusing the wax paper. So that way um, the tape doesn't stick to it the way it would normal paper or some other surfaces. So I'm just going to pull off some pretty long strips to work with. Now the reason why I finally decided to try this out was because I knew I wanted Halloween washi tape for um, my planner that, uh, for Halloween, but I didn't have any and I thought instead of buying it I'll just make my own. So for this first one I'm just using an ink pad, those little dollar ink pads you get at Walmart. It's in gray and I'm just going to put it all over the first strip. For this other strip I just mixed them some orange acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint that right onto the tape. I am losing my voice today so please bear with me. After letting the first coat dry I did paint on a second coat to make it more opaque. Now I'm going to use this circle dauber thingy to make orange circles on the gray tape. Now I'm just going to use my black pigment ink and my little alphabet stamps that I got from Walmart to write the word boo on these orange pieces of tape. And I am actually going to use my paper trimmer to cut this in half long way so that I have two separate rows of boo washi to use in my planner. And then I wrote trick or treat with a sharpie on there but I don't like the way it looked. So I'm going to go over it instead with this chevron um, stamp and some of the same black ink. Now that my orange circles are dry, I am using my black fine tip sharpie to draw little jack-o'-lantern faces on all the orange circles. And now the green sharpie to make little stems. Okay, I'm now carefully removing this row of tape and putting it onto my paper trimmer. And then I'm just going to cut it in half long ways. Now for the chevron tape, I just cut off the top portion because it looked a little too messy and that leaves me with a bit of a cleaner looking tape to use. Okay, now I am going to use this pink ink because I love pink and I'm just going to stamp it all over one of these rows of tape. I want to make a gold one as well, so I'm just going to paint it with some gold acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. 
I also have some metallic platinum paint, so I'm going to try that out as well. So now I have this idea to use like several different colors of ink to make like a multicolored like watercolor effect on the tape. So let's see how that turns out. Here is a close-up. Um, you can't see it too well, but it's really pretty in real life. Now on this uh, platinum tape, I'm going to use my metallic pink pilot pen, and I'm just going to write some words across the tape. Um, I'm going to write faith, love, and joy. Now I'm going to use this little banner flag stamp um, with some black ink to put on the gold washi tape. Okay, so it came out kind of crooked because I couldn't quite see where I was stamping, but I'm just going to use my paper trimmer to cut off the top and the side over there to clean it up a bit. Now with the same platinum paint and this pencil eraser, I am going to make polka dots on the pink tape. Now I'm going to go one step further and punch some holes in it using this punch that I got from Goodwill. I cut the wax paper into smaller sections so that way like the punch can actually reach and access the tape more easily. But I left the wax paper on the tape so that way I don't have to deal with like it sticking to the punch and giving me problems. So those were my ideas for trying out this DIY tape. Um, I am going to actually be using them in my October, you know, Halloween week plan with me, which should be up in a couple days. So be sure to subscribe if you want to check that out so you can see what the tape actually looks like on paper and were there any problems and just how it all worked out. So thank you so much for watching as always and God bless.